I bet you didn't know these four common myths about your dog. Joining me is board certified veterinary behaviorist, Dr. Megan Heron in the house to debunk them. Should we tell them? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Myth number one. Don't take your puppy anywhere until it's fully vaccinated. Absolute myth. The socialization window for puppies where they learn that everything in the world is safe ends at 12 weeks and they're not fully vaccinated until they're 20 weeks old. So you will miss out on so much and potentially face major behavior problems when they're a grown up. So get them out there, get them meeting people, walking on grass, getting to all other friendly dogs and do it now before it's too late. Myth number two. Dogs hump other dogs because they're trying to dominate them. Absolutely false. Dogs hump other dogs for one of three reasons. For one, actually intact and they're trying to mate, which most of us spay and neuter, so probably not the reason your dog's humping your neighbor's dog. Number two is that they just don't know how to talk. So they have social angst, social anxiety, kind of like that close face talker that just doesn't get the clue or the message. And so they don't know what else to do, so they just start humping other dogs, humping their head, humping their rear. It's really annoying and it's a problem, so you should probably intervene. The third reason is that they just love other dogs so much that they have so much excitement they don't know what to do with it, so they displace it through humping, literally humping for joy. Myth number three. A dog is safe to pet as long as they're wagging their tail. Absolute myth. Dogs wag their tails for a number of reasons. All it means is that they're ready to interact, and that can mean I'm ready to bite you. The only thing you're gonna trust is the wagging body. You trust the wiggle, not the wag. And myth number four. Oh, you're ready for me. <laughs> dogs know they've done something wrong. False. Dogs are not moral creatures. They learn from watching our reactions and what's happened to them in the past. So, you know, if last time they pooped in the house, you came home, rubbed their nose in it, and yelled at them, next time they poop in the house and they see you coming home, they're gonna remember that. And they're gonna act sad and scared and do all sorts of appeasement behaviors to help you prevent that from happening again. How do I know this? Well, you have an old dog, new puppy pup poops on the floor, Who's hiding in the corner? Not the puppy, but the old dog. Wait, are these all your books? These are, <gasps> you believe it. And where can they get them? Any major retailer selling books online or in stores. Dr. Meg Heron, right here. You heard it first, my friends. Thank you so much. My pleasure.